हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल असमास बोटनी ओके टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द न्यू टॉपिक दिस दैट इज द मॉडिफाइंग जीन इंटरेक्शन ओके सो दिस मॉडिफाइंग जीन इंटरेक्शन इज अ टाइप ऑफ इंटरजीनिक टाइप जीन इंटरेक्शन मीन इट इज बिटवीन द टू डिफरेंट जीन्स सो द एलिस ऑफ दिस टू डिफरेंट जीन्स कैन बी प्रेजेंट ऑन द सेम क्रोमोसोम्स ऑन डिफरेंट प्लेसेस और द डिफरेंट होमोलॉग्स and on the non homologous chromosomes also so it is a type of mod intergenic type gene interactions okay so uh, intergenic gene interactions have 6 uh, to 7 types this is the first type that is the modifying gene interaction here the word modifying comes so what what is the meaning of this modifying modifying means the change okay so in this type of gene interaction any type of change takes place in the gene interactions okay so what is this change we will see that so first of all the definition is when two genes interact to produce the new phenotype so because it is the intergenic so two genes are involved so in this the two genes interact to produce a new phenotype means there are two genes so if the alleles of two genes are present dominant dominant and recessive recessive then the phenotype that is not present in the parents is produced so what is the phenotype new phenotype and what is the oldest phenotype we will see that by the example that is the example is the comb type in fowls okay so comb type in fowls this character is responsible for this character two genes are responsible okay so here this capital r is smaller and capital p is small this two genes are responsible okay so here you can see here when this four thing is most important first when this capital r type allele come in a genotype okay no dominant other allele come then it is it forms the rows type comb this type which is dominant and if the capital p which is also dominant come but the capital r allele is absent only this is present then the p type of comb is present and if in the genotype this is most important if in the genotype the capital r and capital p means both the dominant alleles of of the two different genes are present in one genotype then this the phenotype of the genotype is modified from rows to p type to walnut okay this walnut type is not similar to p or rows okay it is different from both of the parents both of the two types and when the recessive one is present along with this both are, both the recessive are present together then it also form the another type the different type comb that is a single okay this is okay so here the most important thing is the it is known as the modifying gene interaction why because in this the phenotype is modified from rows and p type to the walnut and it is completely different from the parents so if we, we will see the cross in the cross you can see here here if we take the two parents both must be homozygous the first parent have the rows type comb and the second have the p type comb because it is known as a rose type comb because here the capital p allele is absent here capital p allele is absent and here the p type comb is produced because capital r is absent so both the dominant alleles are not present in one parent it take one dominant allele of capital r rose type comb and it contains the p type comb a dominant allele that is the capital p okay so here then we form the gametes and after the gametes formation you can see in the f1 generation 
the genotype which is produced is heterozygous heterozygous and in this the comb type is walnut so you can see here this walnut type comb is absent in both the parents so it is not present in both the parents it is modified to this how it modifies because the both the dominant alleles this one and this one both the dominant alleles this one from this parent and this one from this parent come in one genotype then it modifies to to form a new genotype that is the walnut type okay so then after this we will do the selfing and after the selfing uh, from the gametes and we will form this checkerboard in the checkerboard you can see four types of combinations four types of combinations are produced first is the walnut type walnut type comb only form when both the dominant allele alleles of from different genes come in a genotype means this capital r and capital b must come in a genotype to form the walnut if only capital r only one only allele dominant allele only from one parent means this here you can see here here two dominant alleles are present but these two dominant alleles are of from one parent not from two parents so only rose type of comb is produced no walnut type when capital r and capital p both are present then the walnut type comb is present okay so and then you can see the rose type comb is produced only when capital p is absent okay the dominant allele of p type is absent and the p type only produce only when the capital r the rose type comb allele is absent and the when the all the dominant alleles are absent from the different both the genes only recessive alleles are present then only in the one condition the single type comb is present when the both the alleles are of recessive type okay so here you can see in the f2 generation phenotypic ratio it is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 so here you can see that it is similar in the mathematically to the mendel's dihybrid cross but this ratio is different not similar to the mendel's dihybrid cross ratio why because you can see here this nine combinations this nine combinations which are formed are new combination the walnut type okay but in the ratio of the dihybrid cross which was performed by mendel on the pea plant in which two characters are taken so here this nine combinations of yellow and round seeds are produced or these are parental combinations so in the this modifying type of gene interaction because these are the exceptions of the mendel's law of inheritance so in this the new combinations are more in number and here the parental combinations are more this is the difference only remember it so and these are the parental combination these are less in number in the uh, phenotypic ratio of the modifying gene interaction but here the parental combinations are more in the mendels okay so what is the difference between the 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 and ratio of the modifying gene interaction and the mendels dihybrid cross you can also know okay so first thing you remember that in the mendel's die hybrid cross which is different from this because in the mendel's die hybrid cross you can you can see there are two genes and these two genes are controlling two characters so there will be one gene for one character but here there are two genes and there are two genes are responsible for only one character so first the difference is that and second difference is this that in f1 generation 
you can see this phenotype is produced which is completely it is completely absent completely different from the parents but in the dihybrid cross of mendel you can see the yellow and round seeds are produced which uh, which was phenotyp phenotypically same from one parent okay and here you can see the ratio of f2 generation is also different because in the genotypic ratio phenotypic ratio of the modifying gene interactions the, the new combinations are more in number than the parental combinations okay so i hope you understood stay tuned for the next videos and if you like the videos press the like button and share it and don't forget to subscribe my channel asmas botany and press the bell icon for the latest update thank you